How are you doing? My name is Robert Stokes. I'm one of the instructors here at Local 32 BJ, and I'm going to be introducing our Hamden trainer. This is a complete refrigeration and air conditioning system. Let me start by introducing the components. Here we have our compressor, which is the heart of the refrigeration system. We have our evaporator, which absorbs heat into the refrigeration system. We have our condenser, which rejects heat out of the refrigeration system. Then we have our metering devices, which we have four of. One is the capillary tube. Two is the hand-operated expansion device. Three is the thermostatic expansion device. Four is our low side flow. This system can also be used as a heat pump system by engaging our four-way valve, which is here, by operating it by our key switch here. Now let's look at some of the monitoring devices. We have a voltmeter, an ammeter, and a watt meter. We also have a discharge pressure gauge and a suction pressure gauge. We have our high pressure cutout in the event that the pressures on the system go too high. We have a safety device. So let's take a moment and let's get this trainer uh, started. We have fan number one, which starts our evaporator fan. Fan number two, which starts our condenser fan. And then we have a set of procedures, which is our starter procedures. So let's take a look at them and go through them one step at a time. A1 has to be closed. That's a valve. This is the A1 valve. We make sure this valve is closed. B1 is open. So we make sure this valve is in the open position. We come to valve number two, which is over here. We make sure this valve is in the closed position. Valve number three, we make sure also is in the closed position. Valve number four is also in the closed position. Valve number five is in the open position. And valve number six is in the open position. Now our Hamden trainer is ready for operation using our hand-operated expansion device. Next, we want to start our compressor. And after we turn on our compressor, we're coming over to our hand-operated expansion device because we want to establish a flow rate of 45 millimeters. So let's open this and get this flow rate established. And we'll let that sit there for about three minutes, four minutes or so. That way we could establish good refrigerant flow throughout the entire system. And as we started our handling train, if you look closely, you could see the refrigerant flowing through the system. And here it's actually boiling in the evaporator and it's condensing in our condenser down here and you can see it trickle down into our receiver. Once we have our flow meter set to about 45, then we can utilize any of our thermostatic expansion devices. Capillary, our thermostatic expansion device, or our low side flow. So what I want to do is use the low side flow. And we can do so by opening valve number two, Closing my hand operated expansion device. A1, we want to open A1. And you can see the flow rate coming through my low side flow here. And close B1. Now that we've seen the operation of the low side flow, let's valve that off and switch to another expansion device, our capillary tube, so that we can utilize our heat pump system. Now that we have our system operating using the capillary tube, we can energize our four-way reversing valve and use the heat pump mode. So let's do that. As we come over here, we have a key switch. And the key switch goes in like this. 
one of the things we want to make sure is that our discharge pressure is above or at 15 PSIG. That's the safety. Once I turn the key switch, it's going to energize my reversing valve and the flow rate is going to reverse. Keep watching. Here we go. So now what we are, we are in essentially the heat pump mode where my evaporator becomes my condenser and my condenser becomes my evaporator. So now we want to switch this back into the uh, regular operating mode of the refrigeration system by turning the key switch. Time. My refrigeration flow just went back into the normal operating mode of the refrigeration system. Okay, which from the evaporator is going to the compressor, from the compressor to the condenser, from the condenser to the metering device, and then back to the evaporator, around like that. It's just flowing back into the system. One of the things that we can look at at this point while our system is in operation, we could come over here and we could take a look at our voltmeter, and we see the voltmeter has the voltage that the unit is operating at. We also can see our amperage by clicking the switch, and we can see what amperage it is operating at. And then once again, if we want to see the wattage, we have a watt meter that we can click the switch and see what wattage the trainer is operating at. Okay, now we want to shut the unit down uh, out of its operation mode so that I can show you the four switches on the back. So first what we want to do is shut the compressor off. Then we want to shut off our fans. Now that we shut our fans and our compressor off, I can turn the unit around and I can show you the four switches on the back. Here we have a series of fault switches in the back that we could set uh, open circuits, high head pressure, low head pressure, uh, whatever we decide. Okay, now that we've seen several modes of operation with our Hampton trainer, uh, let me tell you some of the things that I like about it. What I like about it is that my students can actually see, they can actually test, and they can actually view some of the things that's going on in the system that they would not normally be able to see. Like what, for instance? They could actually see the refrigerant flowing through the system. And when I utilize the reversing valve, they can actually see the refrigerant flow backwards in the system. They could actually touch the lines and see the cold in the evaporator, touch the lines and see the warm to hot in the condenser. And when I reverse it, they can actually see the change reversing when the cold lines are now hot and the hot lines are now cold. They can measure safely the voltage, the wattage, and amperage of this system. They can see the pressures without putting on the pressure gauges. So to all my instructors, utilize this Hamden trainer because this is, this is definitely uh, the safe way to introduce air conditioning and refrigeration. We have operation manuals downstairs in the office, and if you need assistance, give me a call.